Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something I consider a handy prepper tool. This is the Woe Sports Laser Rangefinder. So laser rangefinders these days are fairly common. Uh, you see them used by construction workers, realtors, home security advisors. I mean, there's tons of uses for them. They're also used by hunters and golfers and foresters to get dist distance measurement. So here's kind of a basic overview of how a rangefinder works. A rangefinder works with a laser beam being emitted from this device to determine a distance. The target beam is emitted to the device, all right, emitted from your device at high speeds. It bounces off the target, bounces back to the unit, and because all light moves at the speed of light, of course, that will give you a standard of measurement that can be employed to determine accurately the distance traveled by the beam. Now there are a variety of factors that can mess with the reading, but a laser rangefinder is a pretty handy tool, especially if you're in an area like I am, where it's pretty much open territory. There's not much in the way. There's nothing that's going to stick up at the last minute that's going to mess, off your, mess up your reading. So as preppers, why would we need a laser rangefinder? Well, of course you don't need one. I know. You know, <laughs> you don't, it's, it's, I'm not one of those people that tells you you have to go buy this item or you're going to die tomorrow. You don't need it, but it's definitely a handy tool. And once you reach a certain level of prepping, you'll start to look for things that make your life a little bit easier as a prepper. This definitely can do that. The ability to accurately measure distances is one of the most important skills you, you need to master. The ability to shoot on point can even save your life. And with something like this, you can sight in your rifles a whole lot easier. With ammo being expensive right now, you know, it's a lot easier to know I'm definitely sighting in my rifle at 50 or 100 or 250 yards and not wasting ammo guessing. So, why did I pick this one up? Well, I'll tell you first off, okay? Uh, the one I had, I bought secondhand at a uh, gun shop I worked at. Uh, they sold it to me, I think, for 20 bucks. And this is it here. This is a 1999 vintage Bushnell. <laughs> I think it only goes up to 200 yards. Uh, but it does work, and it still works, and it's very accurate, but big, bulky, older, heavy, you know, definitely compare the size of the two. So with things being a little bit crazy now, I'm looking for things that are a little bit smaller, compact, better, uh, easier to use, easier to carry. I'm looking to upgrade my basic devices and things that I use often so that I can have them and they'll be ready to go and use when I need them. So reason number two why a prepper might need one of these. Uh, range fighters can help you understand your environment better. If you have a working knowledge of your surroundings, and this is where a range card might come into play, you definitely have the advantage, okay? Um, if you're a hunter and a clean shot into that animal is vital, you definitely have an advantage because now you know my rifle sighted in for 100 yards, that deer is about 150 yards away from me, I know full well I can use this to kind of say, okay, i got to move up or down depending on where my rifle is sighted in for. So range finders can help you judge and explore the behaviors of animals around you. They can also keep you safe from threats, and that's reason number three. If I see people 300 yards away from my house, am I going to be as worried about them if I, unless I, if I see them 50 yards away from my house? No, they're 300 yards away. That's not as much of a threat as somebody maybe 50 yards or 25 yards away. Now, you can kind of judge those distances somewhat, but the cool thing about a rangefinder is, is it does have magnification qualities, and you'll see that when we test it out. So it does kind of magnify you. I would say maybe it's a four-power optic in there. Uh, it does kind of keep you away from a safe distance from threats, let you know how far they are away from you, as well as being able to magnify it and see what's going on. So it's definitely a handy device all the way around. So it keeps you nice and vigilant in your surroundings. Like I said, you can even set up a range card of where you live or something. So let's say there's an accident at the end of the street. Well, you can call 911 and say it's about 50 yards up, you know, uh, Main Street that I saw this car crash, you know. You have a little bit more of an accurate knowledge of your surroundings and what's going on around you. Now me, honestly, I use this to sight in my rifles. I use this one. Um, that was my main use. I have not explored other uses with it. I do have sort of a range card set up. I have it actually out here on my wall. Um, you know, knowing distances, how far away things are in my immediate area. Not people's houses, <laughs> but, you know, the end of the block. Uh, the, I Actually, the bush that used to be across the street from me where they dug it up to build a house. Um, across the street all the way, the power box that's across the street. So I have an idea of how far away things are just by visual inspection, and I've written it down on a card with sort of a diagram, 
and I know my street. I know what's going on in my area. I haven't done it to the back of my house, and we're going to do it with that later on, and we'll get into all that later, but uh, or another video, I should say. This is the Woe Sports Rangefinder. It's H, the model H111. Up to 800 yards. Really, really cool, because this thing only did about two, uh, 200 yards. Uh, it's got a 250-yard flag lock if you're going to use this for golf. Okay, You have fast measurement within plus or minus one yard, and I found that to be true because I knew how far away, um, when I was messing with this before, I have a telephone pole out front, and I know how far away it is, and I also know how far away this measured it, so it's right on the money. This also has a very neat little feature in it. It's got a speed um, feature in it. So I can lock this onto a target and follow it with the rangefinder, and know how fast that vehicle is going or that object is going. Uh, that works up to 300 kilometers, so you can kind of judge distance of speed from something in the distance by just locking onto it and following it with the target. And you can say, hey, that vehicle is going 70 miles an hour, that vehicle is going 20 miles an hour, you know, something like that. Kind of handy. I think that's really neat, and that's something definitely my old rangefinder did not have. So I really do like that. So let me show you quickly what it comes. Of course, you're going to get a case. You're going to get a cleaning cloth, which I've already used. And you're going to get a lanyard. And that's about it. You know, it's really simple. The price on these, definitely a good bargain right now. They're $69.99, 70 bucks. Um, if you know rangefinders, you know that Walmart sells that Bushnell rangefinder, and it starts at $109. So, 70 bucks is a good deal. It is very well made. It is powered by one CR2 battery. Let me show you that in here, if I can do it without breaking it. There we go. All right. And you can buy these all over Amazon. They're dirt cheap. I got like eight of them for uh, six bucks. Um, it's it's non-rechargeable. Uh, so in that case, you really don't need to worry about it. Something like this. Um, when you store it for long periods of time, I would take the battery out of it. But honestly, if you use this weekly and you take this out to the range or you take this out where in your job, um, I wouldn't worry about it. This thing's probably got like... 10,000 activations before you need to charge or re replace that battery. It's a very, very simple little unit. Down here is your laser emitter, and up here is your viewfinder. This is where you look through. It does have a nice focus ring on the outside, and you will see how well this thing focuses. This is like, I swear, the camera came out beautiful. The picture that I took of it, the last, uh, I, did the, uh, I did some outdoor shots with it, and the last video I did where it's just showing you, you know, without the rangefinder on, what it looks like came out amazing. This is like a high dollar scope type quality, which really shocked me for something so inexpensive. I really didn't need that high picture quality, but it is nice to have that. It is kind of handy. Um, so that's pretty much it. There's no rechargeable you know, plugs or anything. You just change out the battery when it dies. This is your on and off button, and this is your mode button. You can move through the modes uh, if you want it to be in uh, meters, kilometers, uh, if you want it to do the distance measurement and the speed measurement. You, move, you just move through that mode button and push it, and that's your on button. Pretty simple. I, you can't really see in there. That's why we're not going to use this camera here for uh, doing the video. So let's get it outside. Let's uh, take some video across the street, show you what I got over there. Um, we're going to use uh, a house, and then we're going to just go straight across the street and uh, see how far away I can get it to uh, register. All right, so excuse the shakiness. I wanted to give you a look through the rangefinder without it on. Just to kind of show you what it looks like. You see how clear that is. It's an extremely clear image through here. Some really nice glass in this one. And here comes the car. <laughs> so let me uh, zero in on something. I'm not going to be able to push the button and hold this camera and hold the rangefinder at the same time. So let me push a button and find uh, push the button on there for the rangefinder. And I'll show you what it looks like when we activate it. And we'll put it on something out there and point at it and uh, let you see what it looks All right, like. There you go. You can see there, 70 yards on that little edge of their house. Apologies to the neighbors. <laughs> you can see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Definitely impressed with it. I love how clear that image is. I'm going to try and get you uh, another uh, range of something out here. But uh, that's definitely really, really cool. All right, so the corner of that fence post, 149.6 yards. That came out nice and clear. So there you go. That's a quick demo for you. Uh, again, apologies about using a cell phone camera. It's just as best I can do. <laughs> it's really kind of difficult. My regular camera wouldn't pick it up. Anyway, back to the table. Let's finish up. All right, so that is really, really cool. Now you get to see it. And again, I'm sorry for the shakiness. It's really difficult. Um, I had this on a tripod and my camera phone on a seat behind it, just kind of resting on there, trying to hold it as steady as possible, but you still end up moving around like crazy. 
definitely a cool little device. For 70 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Um, I'm impressed with it. I didn't really think it was going to be uh, as good as it was. Um, again, I wanted to upgrade because, you know, my older one, the picture quality in it isn't the best. You know, glass in it isn't really the best. It does work. It got me on target with a whole lot of rifles, but it's still, it's older, it's big, it's heavy, it's com it's not compact like this. I can toss this in my pocket and head out to the range. I can toss it in my range bag. Um, this thing took up, you know, half the range bag. <laughs> so, definitely like it. Um, let me give you a little last information on it. This has a fast focus mode. So when you're on target, it will focus almost instantly. Really, really handy when you're trying to get something quick. Uh, it does have a continuous scan range finder. If you put this in the golf mode, with, you'll see a little, uh, a little T, a little pin with a flag on it. If you do that, it will continuously measure the distance. That's kind of handy, too, for moving objects. Um, not only will it measure the speed of those objects coming at you, but it will measure the distance. So you can say 150, 100, you know, 50, 75, whatever, coming at you closer. That is a very handy thing. It's got a 7 degree field of view, does have a low battery indicator, a multi-coated lens, and the measuring time takes between 0.5 to 1 second. It's super fast. I've had no problem with it all. So as I said, 70 bucks, $69.99. I will put a link down below where you can pick one up. Um, this is definitely going in my range bag. Uh, I will replace the big heavy one. However, I will keep the big heavy one as a backup. It is made by Bushnell. It is a decent quality unit. Uh, I just want something a little bit lighter and smaller to carry with me uh, when I'm at the range. So, definitely a cool little thing. Anyway, folks, check it out. Link will be down below for the range finder, as well as our Amazon store and our freeze-dried wholesalers link. Don't forget that link saves you 15%. Anything you want. We have many more videos coming up of their food. Anything you want um, from freeze-dried wholesalers, that link will save you 15%. So, click it. And boom, there you go. You can get stocked up with some really quality freeze-dried food. We have our My Patriot Supply link. If you folks are on a budget and you want to start getting stocked up, that's a good place to start. That's preparewithiridium.com and our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Thanks for watching, folks. Remember, you can't control what happens in the world, but you can prepare for it.